Race, the most sensitive subject to talk about in 2022 and the most avoided variation is having racial preferences in dating. And being of a certain race or ethnicity in this modern dating market can either give you an advantage or handicap your chances of dating a certain race as discussed many times in this channel. But we never really got into how mixed race people performed in dating. We've always put that subject to the side. What if you are mixed, half black, half white? half Asian, half white, or half Asian, half black. What chances do you get? Will you suffer the same disadvantages ethnic people do in dating, or do you actually have some sort of advantage? Well, I read a study about this and it was interesting. And I also want to give my own input on this subject. So yeah, keep in mind that this is just my opinion. No need to lose your mind over it. This video will be split into two parts. The study and my own opinion. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, a link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So for the first part, I'm going to read you what I found, then discuss the study. Hopefully I can remember to link this one in the description. I'm kind of an idiot. In the largest study of its kind, Dr. Michael Lewis of Cardiff's University School of Psychology collected a random sample of 1,205 black, white and mixed race faces. Each face was then rated for their perceived attractiveness to others, with mixed race faces on average being perceived as being more attractive. Dr. Lewis, who will present his findings to the British Psychological Society's annual meeting, said, Previous small case studies have suggested that people of mixed race are perceived as being more attractive than non-mixed race people. This study was an attempt to put this one to the wider chest. A random sample of black, white, and mixed race faces was collected and rated for their perceived attractiveness. There was a small but highly significant effect, with mixed race faces on average being perceived as more attractive. The study could also have wider implications than just attractiveness. First established by Darwin in 1876, heterosis or hybrid vigor is a biological phenomenon that predicts that crossbreeding leads to offsprings that are genetically fitter than their parents. As heterosis is considered to be a universal biological effect, it is possible that humans are also subjects to its influence, and helps explain why mixed race people appear more attractive. Dr. Lewis added the results appear to confirm that people whose genetic backgrounds are more diverse are on average perceived as more attractive than those whose backgrounds are less diverse. This can be taken as evidence for heterosis among human population groups. There is evidence, albeit anecdotal that the impact of heterosis goes beyond just attractiveness. This comes from the observation that although mixed race people make up a small proportion of the population, they are overrepresented at the top level of a number of meritocratic professions like acting with Hale Berry, Formula One racing with Lewis Hamilton, and of course politics with Barack Obama. So what we get from reading this article is that in a sample of more than a thousand faces with black, white, and mixed races, people found the mixed race one to be more attractive than being of pure race. And there's also the biological phenomenon of heterosis, which says that crossbreeding leads to better genetic quality than the parents. These are two parameters that we can work with. But what about facial attractiveness? Is there a secret or perhaps a mix of features or something? This will lead us to the part two of the video. Now, mixed race people, facial attractiveness wise, can take the best of both worlds. If you are lucky and your parents are attractive, it will result in an exclusive mix. For example, a mix of black and white will result in a lighter skin, almond eye shape, and a smaller nose, unlike pure black men, who usually got larger noses. But they will still keep imprints of black people, for example, curly hair and eyebrows with the full lips, this kind of creates an exclusive look. And we can say the exact same thing about Zayn Malik. His dad is of Pakistani descent and his mother is a white British woman. This genetic mix gave us the exclusive mixed race look that Zayn Malik is known for, which goes to confirm the biological phenomenon established by Darwin heterosis. Another case we can look at is Nick Kaufman. His mother is Indian and his dad is white German. This also resulted in an interesting looking mix. His skin got that Indian touch but it's not dark. His lips are full and his eyes are large which is not very common in pure bred white men. But they are light in color which gives them an exclusive look. Of course being mixed race does not mean you are an automatic H plus in looks. The genetic quality of your parents still plays a role on how well you will end up looking. Being mixed race as of right now with all the info available to us, it's like a boost if you are above average looking. 
But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. Just keep things respectful, please. That's it for today's video. A like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.